Hello, Agis. Kamusta na kayo? I hope you are all safe and healthy during this time. I am Associate Professor, Assistant Professor Brian Avi Apasionado from the Institute of Crop Science, College of Agriculture and Food Science, UP Los Banos. It's been just, what, uh, two weeks ago kung saan tayo ay unang nagkita for CAPS orientation and now magkakasama muli tayo and live via Zoom and being live stream at CAPS YouTube channel and Facebook page. Let me just first acknowledge the presence of our expected individuals, our Dean, Associate Dean, College Secretary, Unit Directors, Faculty, researchers, and all of the staff and personnel of our college. Bakit nga ba tayo nandito ngayon? Today, we are all gathered for the CAPS virtual orientation on student learning assistance or SLAS program. Naririto tayo para pag-usapan ang mga programa ng universidad para makatulong sa inyong mga estudyante. Like we said sa ating orientation, Kaps sama ninyo kami. Without further ado, let's start with a short prayer and singing of the national anthem. Lord, I give you glory for the life that you've given us. We thank you for the wisdom, strength, and divine enablement. Let your knowledge enlighten every information that is being discussed before us today in this CAF's virtual scholarship orientation. Let this program serve as an opportunity to every individual. Bless everyone and may your favor shine on us through all our days. May each one of us be encouraged and reminded that despite the circumstances that are happening all over the world, you are still the God who is in full control of everything. Allow us to trust in you with all our hearts, mind, and strength. Lord, continue to guide us and your Holy Spirit lead us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Awitin po natin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang magiliw, peras ang silanganan, alam ng puso sa titip mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, buya ka ng magiging, sa manlulupin kita pa sisigil. Before we start our, our program, we will just have a quick poll for interaction. Ang ating tanong, what plant best describes your week, uh, let's say last week? Why and why? So ang ating mga pamimilian, A for cactus, dahil matinik na week dahil sa registration or class requirements. Wow, yes. Uh, medyo mahirap nga yung mga nagdang uh, weeks for the registration and class requirements dahil naninibago pa tayo sa ating uh, mode of delivery this semester. And then, our choice for letter B ay indoor plant dahil hindi lumalabas ng bahay. Okay? Which is um, nararapat lang because we are still in quarantine. And then letter C, water lily. Madaming alalahanin, pero di lumulubog. Okay. So, 
during this time of pandemic, marami talaga mga stress tayo na nararanasan at mga naiisip. Uh, if this is your uh, feelings uh, this past few weeks, isagot natin ay water lily. Again, ang, ang ating question, what plant best describes you last week and why? So we have cactus, indoor plant, and water lily. You may go to www.menti.com and use the code 167050. Okay, so anyone can participate this uh, for this survey or poll. Either you are watching via Zoom or YouTube or our Facebook Live. Okay, so gusto nating malaman kung ano ba ang ating mga nararamdaman dito sa pagsisimula ng bagong semester, which is really not normal because uh, we are having our online learnings sa iba't ibang parte ng ating uh, ng Pilipinas, okay? Hindi lang dito sa UPLB. I think other universities as well ay nagkakaroon ng uh, online learning or remote learning. Okay? So for our question, babanggitin ko ulit, what plant that you or your feelings last week? Okay? Ayan. So ang ating mga pamilya ng cactus, nick na week dahil sa registration or class requirements. We also have letter B for indoor plant dahil hindi lumabas bahay. We also have water lily dahil madaming alalahanin tumulubog. All right. So as you can see on our screen, meron ng mga pumapasok na mga sagot po ninyo sa, sa ating poll. We have equal uh, respondents on A and C. Okay? So, marami sa atin naging matinik para ang linggo dahil sa register ng requirements natin. Also, meron ding mga letter C. Same amount. Uh, madaming alalahanin pero di lumulubog. Okay? Yes. Uh, madami tayong alalahanin but pero hindi tayo susuko. Uh, patuloy lang ang laban natin during this pandemic. Lalo na uh, we are all learning dito sa ating uh, experience. And I think also most of our professors are really uh, doing their best to be considerate and to adjust yung ating mga courses para uh, uh, mabigat itong mga itong mga courses na ito or internet para sa ating mga estudyante. Okay? I think pande uh, lahat tayo ay kailangan magtulungan professors and also uh, the students. Okay? Basta ala lagi nating da tandaan dito sa CAPS lagi ninyo kaming kasama. Okay? Para po sa pagsisimula ng ating programa, atin pong pakinggan ang paunang mensahe ng pagbati ng sa ating at mula sa minamahal nating dekano ng College of Agriculture and Food Science UP Los Baños, walang iba kundi si Dr. M. Agbisit. Hi, thank you. Thank you very much, Associate Professor Brian. Uh, I hope that you can hear me, everyone. Uh, of course, to all the Aggies that are present today, to our beloved students, a pleasant and blessed day to everyone. Let me uh, take this time to acknowledge a few of our dignitaries that are present. Of course, to Professor Jickerson P. Lado, Director of the Office of Scholarship and Grant of the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Thank you, sir, for joining us and for, uh, for even though you have a very tight schedule, thank you for joining us in this activity. Sa mga punong abala for this um, activity to, uh, of course, the CAP Social Committee headed by the ever-reliable Professor Ryan Tayobong and the people of ICROPS and, of course, the members of the committee also. And uh, 
to our college secretary headed by the hardworking college secretary, Dr. Rose Paelmo, for spearheading this activity. Of course, I'd like to acknowledge, I hope that uh, the chairperson, Ms. Josea Lazarte, and members of the CAP Student Council are with us. Associate Dean Adele and Associate Dean Bambi, the college Exicom, men and women of the College of Agriculture and Food Science. Again, good afternoon and happy Kainang Pamilya Mahalaga Day to everyone. Okay. According to the Greek philosopher Heraclitus, the only constant in life is change. With the change and challenges brought by COVID-19 pandemic, we all have to adjust and face the new normal heads on. We should also acknowledge that everybody has a lot of problems adjusting to the new normal. Financial constraints, internet reliability, adjusting to technology, adjusting to remote learning, and adjusting to new rules and policies are only a few of them. To elevate some of your problems, the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs together with the, the CAPS College Secretary Office initiated this webinar to orient, to orient you with UP or UPLB's administration's initiatives and programs to help the students. To you, our dear Aggies, let us explore and maximize opportunities available for you to help you learn in these uncertain times. Please do not hesitate to ask questions as this is a great opportunity for you to see what are the financial aids available that may support you in your college journey. I also would like to acknowledge students' individual creativeness to adjust to this uh, new normal. I applaud the initiatives of academic student organizations in the college to help their members in needs. I also acknowledge the initiatives done by our academic units to help the students adjust. Aside from all these initiatives, the most important thing to remember in order for our learning process in the new normal to be worthwhile is our individual commitment to work for it. Individual commitment makes learning enjoyable and effective. Let us hand in hand adjust to the new normal Sama-sama tayo, one college, one family, one future. May, may this activity help you. I'm really hoping to see you very soon after this pandemic. Stay healthy and safe, everyone. May God bless us all. Brian? Thank you, Dean, sa inyong pong mensahe. Uh, tama nga naman po na tayo dito sa CAFS ay isang pamilya, kaya't Lahat ng problema at kinakaharap natin, uh, whether you are the professor or you are the students, sa ating uh, family, tayo po ay sama-sama nga harap sa lahat ng problema ito at ating pagtatagumpayan lahat ng ito. Ngayon naman, uh, tunghayan natin ang highlight ng ating event. As we start, uh, let's watch a video presentation prepared by the Office of Scholarship and Grants, UPLB. Hi, I will be discussing the Student Learning Assistance System at the University of the Philippines in relation to flexible remote modes of learning. Again, I am Jikerson Lado from the Genetics and Molecular Biology Division of the Institute of Biological Sciences, proud from the College of Arts and Sciences. I'm currently the Director of the Office of Scholarships and Grants, Office of the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. And my invitation here is primarily because I am a member of the Committee on Scholarships and Financial Assistance. You can reach me via my email at jplado at up.edu.ph or in any social um, networking sites at jcursonlado. Please find time to uh, like also my science IG. It's at jcurzone where I post things about the research that I do. I believe we have to communicate our science to the people. Here are some announcements before I formally begin. There is a Remote Learning 101, a short online course designed for students to give you a preview of what it will be like to remotely learn. Okay? 
please visit the site ilcecourses.uplb.edu.ph. And there will be an online available access to the Student Guidebook on Flexible Learning, hopefully this week, okay? Or I think it's already up. So kindly double check, read them. Most of these discussions are also in there. Most of the discussions here today will also be part of this student guidebook on flexible learning. So you've been uh, accustomed what, on what, like, what flexible learning is and what remote learning is. So change or transition are concerns. I mean, we, we fear change. And change is inevitable. But change is beautiful as well. So there are several concerns about this transition, including the self-paced learning, home as primary learning environment, digital divide, socioeconomic circumstances, and student and mental health and well-being. So for the Student Learning Assistance Grant, it is answered, it, it, it answers rather the digital divide and socioeconomic circumstances okay but to answer these two major concerns as we transition to flexible and remote modes of learning the university instigated the student learning assistance system it is part of the university's COVID-19 Act crisis action plan to address the needs of the vulnerable students particularly those who could be at a considerable disadvantage under the new normal when flexible remote modes of learning take effect. So the acronym is SLAS. So ano nga po ba ang SLAS? What is this? Your SLAS, your SLAS could provide you with a gadget, internet subsidy, financial assistance, or any other form of support you know, to assist you this, acad this coming academic year. Sir, paano po kami pupunta dyan? How would we know about it? Okay. I think there has been email blasts. There are a lot of uh, postings on different social media accounts of the university. But please visit sfaonline.up.edu.ph. You know? So now they have transitioned from SFA to SLAS online. So that's now SLAS online that UP that edu that ph. Here's the schedule for the application period. So currently we are now at the continuation from September 7 to 10. The results of the student learning assistance system will be released on September 11 and appeal period will be from September 11 to 13. Sir, how will we log in to the SLAS online portal. So for this, you will be using your e official UP mail. So if you're a freshman, your official UP mail will be provided by the Office of the University Registrar. If you are a continuing or returning student with no UP mail, please email the Information Technology Center at itc.uplb at up.edu.ph, okay? So for any clarifications on this, please email osasfad.uplb at up.edu.ph, okay? So basically, that's the student learning assistance system. Now, we also have peer learning group. So what are these? These are network of peer tutors who are student assistants. They will serve as SAs to support students in many remote learning contexts, whether a student is having difficulty with transitioning to flexible learning, or maybe you need an assistance to understand a specific topic in a course, okay? or you will be needing a tutor, or any other form of activities to enrich your learning experience because we are transitioning from a face-to-face -to, -face to a flexible remote mode of learning, okay? 
Lastly, I want you to be familiar with the Office of Scholarship and Scholarships and Grants (OSG). So here are the offerings and services we are given giving for to our students, the student financial assistance. So if you are not under the free tuition law, you can actually be rebracketed or be given stipend based on your household income or, and or characteristics. Now for private and government scholarships, we have a lot of them as well. Kindly visit the official website of OSA, uplbosa.org. Check on scholarships. There is a complete list of scholarships available for the coming academic year. You also have student loan programs, okay? You can, if you are not under free tuition, you could have a tuition loan, or if you need an allowance, you we have the CLAP, the Cash Loan Assistance Program. And if you want to earn money, you want to have your own salary while learning, you can apply a student assistant program. No, as a student assistant under the student assistantship program. Clear? All right, so to give you more of this kindly watch this video to learn more about our services thank you the scholarships and financial assistance division of uplb's office of student affairs is dedicated to providing the highest quality service with fairness and transparency and to help all deserving UPLB students by offering an array of scholarships and other financial aid programs. The Student Financial Assistance section is in charge with facilitating SFA online and was created to reduce the costs paid by students during enrollment based on the paying capacity of the household to which a student belongs. SFA tuition discounts can also be used to avail the other financial assistance programs available at SFAD. The Student Loan Program allows students to borrow immediate cash for emergency purposes or defer registration payments with minimal interest within a prescribed schedule during the semester, especially helpful to students who are not covered by free tuition. It also offers the Cash Loan Assistance Program or CLAP with 14 different emergency loans available. There's also the CHED Safe Loan that can be availed by students starting from their third year to their fifth year. The Student Assistantship Program gives the students the opportunity to earn additional income while gaining important experience for future employment through service at the different offices of the university. The Private and Government Scholarship section implements various government and private scholarships. They are also responsible for administering the Adopt-a-Student Program, a program for low-income students of UPLB which aims to help those whose scholarship benefits are not sufficient to sustain their school needs while studying in the university. But that's not all. For SPAD also supervises the administration of programs that takes their services outside of the university, like conducting home visits to SFA applicants, the recognition of graduating scholars and donor partners, and the OSA Assist program. While providing quality service to all students seeking financial assistance, to help the students realize that financial concern is not, not the hindrance of attaining a UP education. All right. Maraming salamat sa video na, na prepared sa atin mula sa Office of Scholarship and Grants University. Um, nakita natin at uh, alaman ninyo kung ano ang mga different programs na kanilang ino-offer. And I know uh, marami pa kayong gustong itanong. Uh, that's why 
um, maaari nyo pong ilagay ang inyong questions dito sa ating Q&A uh, button sa ating Zoom. Although we have uh, technical difficulties that uh, this time nakapag-live ating Facebook and YouTube. But uh, for sure, we will this uh, meeting okay, sa ating Facebook and YouTube uh, pages sa at ng CAFs. Alright? Para naman uh, malinawa, maliwanagan pa tayo, uh, narito po kasama natin ang Director ng Office of Scholarships and Grants ng UP Los Baños para sagutin ang inyong mga katanungan. Let's all welcome Professor Jickerson Lado. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, muli po, Jickerson Lado po, no, mula po sa Office of Scholarships and Grants. So, muli maraming maraming salamat po kay Dean, Associate Dean, sa College Secretary po at sa mga uh, administrators po ng College of Agriculture and Food Science. Um, maraming maraming salamat po sa pag-imbita para din po mas, malina mas malinawan at mas mabigyan po ng... Uh, emphasis no, yung ating bagong student learning assistance system mula sa mga mag-aaral ng College of Agriculture and Food Science. I, pwede po akong mag-share ng screen para po dun sa mga bagong schedule kasi natapos na po yung pinalabas dun sa video na first batch ng application. So, wag pong matakot ang mga agriculture students natin kasi po mayroon pa po tayong second batch at ongoing po sila. Kung hindi po sila nakapag-apply dun sa first batch ng student learning assistance system. So ito po ang ating second batch of application. Kung mapapansin niyo po doon sa una, ito po ay natapos noong uh, first to first two weeks of September. Okay? So yung second batch of application po natin is now is ongoing from September 23 to September 30. So ito po yung learning assistance natin na application via SLAS online. So ang website po natin for that is your slasonline.up.edu. So muli po, ang SLAS online ay isang uh, system-wide. So buong UP po ito, lahat po ng CU, so lahat po ng uh, uh, universities no, within the UP system na estudyante natin, especially ang ating mga undergrads, ay maaari pong makatanggap ng learning assistance grants na in terms of either depende sa inyong household income at household characteristics. Pag nag-login po kayo dito, marami kayong sasagutan doon ng mga in information para masabi na talagang you need a laptop or you need internet subsidy or internet connection. No? Na, na, na ang magbibigay po ay ang system. So, ayan po. So, please, kung hindi pa po ang ating mga estudyante from CAFs ay hindi pa po nakakapag-apply, uh, nag-open po ang second down ng application nito from September 23 to September 30. Yung resulta po ilalabas for second, uh, ng second round ay October 1. Kung feeling nyo po, hindi kayo doon sa normal nyo na bracket, no? na hindi po kayo talaga pang uh, from full discount or full discount with stipend, pwede po kayo mag-appeal. So may, uh, may online appeal period which would run from October 1 to October 4. Ayan po. So ngayon pong araw na to, actually ngayong araw na pong ito, September 28, ngayong, uh, ngayong moment pong ito actually, nagdi-deliberate na po yung committee ng UPLB kung sino po yung makakatanggap from the first round. Kasi tapos na po yung application ng first round. So, chinecheck po, bineverify po ngayon ng Committee on Scholarship and Financial Assistance ng UPLB, lahat po nung dapat makatanggap. Babalik po ako dun sa meeting mamaya sa Zoom po. So, uh, pinaulahan ko lang po talaga ang inyong, uh, ang, ang, ang meeting po talaga ng CAPS para mas ma-inform ang ating mga estudyante about it. So, kung may mga clarifications pa rin po kayo or questions about SLAS, huwag pong mahihiyang mag-email ito po ang inyong email na uh, sa lahat kung hindi po kayo maka kung hindi po makonek ang inyong UP mail no kung hindi niyo po kung wala po lumalabas sa interface niyo dun sa SLAS online na portal okay um, please email us at sts.losbanos and po talaga siya that losbanos at up.edu.ph again that's sts.losbanos at up.edu.ph okay So, ayun po. So, Sir Brian, marami pong salamat. I think kung may questions po ang ating mga estudyante no? at, at ang ating pong ibang staff, so pwede naman po silang magtanong. Alright, maraming salamat, Sir 
Jickerson Lado. Ayan. So, I think na na bigay na ni Sir uh, Lado yung uh, bulk ng ating information. But there are uh, questions pa po, Sir, na ibinigay sa atin dito sa ating Zoom. Uh, I'll just read this one. Are there specific scholarships po for CAP students? Yes po. Uh, yes po, sir. Uh, po. Sa nagtanong po for scholarships for uh, specific for CAPS, makikibisita po ng website ng OSA. So you have uplbosa.org, yung official website po ng UPLB OSA. So i-navigate po natin siya. Kapag nakita nyo po under the Student Financial Assistance, no, makikita nyo po doon yung Ayan, tinatry ko po, then I could share my screen. Ito po. So, share ko lang po yung screen. Okay. So, ito po yung website ng OSA. So, nagkakaroon lang po tayo ng medyo mabagal po yata ang internet ngayon. So you look for this. So you you went you go here to financial assistance, and then may mga scholarships po. Yan. may mga scholarships available. And then magluload po siya. Makikita niyo po yung mga pangalan ng iba-iba nating scholarship. Ilan po ang available na slots, no? Or mayroon po siyang specific. For example, ito po for this Adapa student program. It specifically is a uh, looking for BS Ag Chem. So, CAS, CACA, CAPS, no? Or ito pong ADAPA student program ng ICRAPS, for, ng ICRAPS Batch 2001 to 2011 is looking for a BS Agri with a major in agronomy or horticulture. Yun nga lang po, our, our, student has to, our students have to make sure that they are um, on um, beating the deadline po, nakikita po niyo po kasi yung ating deadline. So, na, na, nagkaroon na po kasi ng first batch of selection. Usually, scholarships, no? After po kasi ng second SEM, so the assumption was may mga students po na graduate. So, there will be freeing up of slots, no? And then, early before your first semester, magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, uh, call for availability of slots for these scholarships. So make sure po na lagi nyo inaantabayanan yung mga posts online no, or in, in, in email via ITC na email blast kung may mga ganun pong uh, scholarships available for, for students to check out. Kung pasok po sila sa criteria. So marami po siya actually, marami po tayong list of scholarships. So please make sure to apply. Makikita nyo po siya dyan. So, meron din po yung mga prestigious na UP ang nagbibigay, like the UP Presidential Undergraduate Scholarship Grant. No? Usually, you receive a medal or a, a, a recognition kapag uh, graduation, na you, you graduated as a UP Presidential a Scholarship. No? Yung na ikaw ay scholar no? ng UP Presidential. So, manami pong klase, whether you are undergraduate, MS, and PhD. Ayun po yung for the scholarships. All right, maraming salamat, sir. Okay, uh, nakita na natin na madami pala talagang scholarships na ino-offer ang uh, UPLB and uni uh, UP as a whole. So, wag lang mahihiyang magtanong at, at tumingin lang dun sa ating mga uh, website para matulungan tayo ng UP. All right? So, sir, mayroon pang isang uh, tanong po dito. Uh, Usually po ba gaano daw katagal ang process or ang pagpa-process ng SLAS program? Okay po. Yan. Very good question po siya. So, with the period po na meron tayo, usually may one week na application period. May, may i-reveal po yung result. Makikita po ng ating mga estudyante ang result po ng kanilang naging application. And then, kung hindi po sila satisfied, parang mas feeling nila mas may deserve sila no, na ibang na ibang uh, bracket, no? mas may deserve nila may computer sila at saka may uh, internet subsidy no? or hindi lang talaga internet subsidy lang, uh, pwede po sila mag-appeal. So that would run for one to two weeks. No? After po nun, i-deliberate po siya ng committee, hopefully in a week's time, tapos na siya. 
and then mapapadala na po yung inyong mga uh, materials or gadgets na or internet connectivity na appropriate based on your household income and household um, characteristics. So in 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 from from application to appeal to deliberation, hopefully, and in in the delivery of the gadgets no, or the materials, hopefully, po in in a one one month one month's time na lang, one month's time po sa kaya ng magawa. So kulad po noong nagstart yung September. September 17 po, nagkaroon ng first result, nag-appeal, tapos ngayon po dinideliberate na ng committee. Hopefully by the end of September, this week or next week, mabigay na po namin yung mga first batch of uh, first batch of gadgets sa mga estudyante na deserving, lalo na po at nagsimula na ang ating uh, semestre. Oo oh, 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 nga naman. So, kaya ulitin natin dun sa mga nag-apply at uh, gustong mag-appeal, you can appeal your position dahil kayo naman talaga ang nakakaalam ng uh, kap ng kapasidad ng inyong pamilya okay um in line po sir dun sa ating first question um ang tanong pa rin po natin meron pa po bang next batch after dun sa September 30 deadline kasi anong date na po ba ngayon September 28 yeah. ah, po. Ah, po tama sir so um, hindi po kasi sa amin ang gagaling yung go signal kung meron pong tayong batch, another batch of application. It, it, it's actually coming from the Office of Student Financial Assistance under the Vice President for Academic Affairs, OBPAA po. So sa system po siya. Pero usually po, kapag uh, nakita na may need no, na mga mas may marami pang estudyante na kailangan, ang system po ay nag-open pa ng another round. Usually nakakatatlo pong round sa loob ng isang semester. Ah, that's good. So we just have to wait for the official schedule. Okay. Okay. So this, yung September 30, sir, ay ayun yung second batch, tama po ba? Yes, sir. So we can expect another batch. Yes, sir. Hopefully po, kasi lalo na po ngayon, no, we would we would assert naman yun sa taas na sana kung talaga may mga hindi pa rin po talaga nakaka nakaka uh, uh, log in or hindi pa talaga wala pa po talagang oras para makapag sign in dahil nag nag register nag enroll and all that we would appeal that sa taas ko na mag open pa rin po yung portal kasi usually po pag tapos na yung tapos na po yung deadline nag off na po yung portal hindi na po pwedeng mag log in mm, okay sige okay another question po ayan dito po mula sa ating Q&A sa ating Zoom from Kenneth Neil Mabalot. Okay, are those students under PD80 qualified for gadget and internet subsidy? Thank you po. All right, good. Um so meron po tayong bracketing system. Ito po ay nakuha pa natin nung simula gaya po nung sa STPAP, kung maalala niyo po 'yon, yung socialized tuition, no? Yung STPAP tapos naging STS, tapos naging Student Financial Assistance SFA po siya. So ngayon pong taong ito, dahil sa nangyaring uh, current situation po natin with the pandemic, it was expanded. The SFA online was actually expanded to become SLAS online to include not just financial assistance, but also learning assistance, no, grants. Now, may, may kibat na siyang gadget and internet subsidy. But this is actually a good question, Kenneth. No? Ang ating characteristic para maka ang ating category para makatanggap ka ng gadget and internet subsidy you must be an FDS those na talagang nasa lower income bracket 80,000 and uh, 80,000 and below yung annual income okay so FDS yung nakakatanggap ng gadget and internet subsidy okay kapag ikaw ay FD kapag ikaw ay FD or full discount lamang no wala yung S so FD full discount walang stipend ikaw ay makakatanggap ng internet subsidy. Okay? Internet subsidy. Wala ng gadget na nakasama. Pag ikaw ay PD80, kasi that's, that means you are you have a partial discount of 80%, that you have you have a partial discount of 80%. Um, you may be given other categories, pero hindi ka pasok dun sa category with gadget and gadget and internet subsidy or a category with a uh, uh, internet subsidy lang. But again, I we will be highly encourage you to appeal. Kaya nga nung mas baka kasi may na may nalagay ka dun sa portal na nagpa, nagpagtaas ng household characteristic mo pero hindi naman talaga at need mo naman kasi talaga ng laptop or internet subsidy. So please click the online appeal button. So meron dong online appeal, appeal. So when you click that, it would it would now 
uh, uh, lead you to a, to a portal na or to a site doon sa ating portal na mag a ka because of these things. No? So please, please make sure you file an appeal if you feel that you need to be an FD or an FDS. Okay? Thank you, Nick. Kenneth. Okay. Uh, I hope Kenneth oh. answer ang iyong question. And we also have another question, how to file an appeal. Although... Yeah. <laughs> in a server. Sir, uh, repeat and elaborate uh, more. So again, pag nakita nyo po yung portal, hindi lang po ako maka-access ngayon sa SLAS portal kasi yung aking pong access pang admin. Makikita nyo po yung ibang data ng ibang in, ng estudyante. So it's uh, data privacy. Pero ang cons meron po doon sa inyong student uh, interface, pag nakita nyo po yung student interface, meron po doon nakalagay na online appeal. You have to click that online appeal Okay, na button para po mag uh, lead you to another no another site kung bakit ka nag online appeal. Okay, and then we would know that once once we extracted the data kasi magmi-meeting na po yung uh, committee ng UPLB sa CSFA, yung ating committee for student uh, scholarship and financial assistance. Na ngayon po may nangyayaring ganun ngayon as in right this moment ay uh, makikita po namin kung sino yung mga nag online appeal na gusto mag-appeal from an F, from a PDAT to an FD or an FD. Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Uh, that question po ay galing kay Alder Mendoza. Okay, I hope uh, ay nasagot ni sir ang iyong question. Uh, uh, we will move to another uh, query. Uh, sir, for the gadget, student po ba ang pipili ng type and brand? Or may prescribe po ang SLAS program? Ayan po. Sa gadget po, hindi po muna ako makakapagbigay ng komento. Baka ma-misscode po ako. No? Kasi ang, at, ang magbibigay po ay system. So, UP system. Kami lang po ang magpo-provide at mag-verify based from your record. Yung, yung CSFA po, well-represented yun. Yung committee na yun, well-represented sa university ng ating college secretaries, no? ng mga key offices, at saka ng estudyante. May representation po tayo doon. So, ang sinasabi lang po natin is yung gadget na brand and yung type niya ay nakabase po sa system. Okay? So, system po mag decide But, yung pong kalalabas lang po na memo, yung I, what, I, what I can speak of is there is just a memo na nakarilis lang po this morning giving us no or telling us that we need to uh, survey yung mga katanggap ng internet subsidy both FDS and FD no i survey namin sila sagutan nila yung Google form on the internet provider that they they want to actually they they, they prefer or they want to to subscribe in kung globe ba kung ano man po yung type ng internet subscription yun lang po yung so far na may memo as for the laptop of course ang Siguro ang mapapa ang masasabi ko lang it would be able to do uh, basic yung mga basic specs that can do academic work. Tapos, hindi naman po siya pang sobrang bilis na pang gaming, walang ganun pa. <laughs> hindi ko po yun, hindi ko po siya <laughs> mapapangako, wala pong ganun. So pero nonetheless the, the laptop would be functional for your academic use. Okay. Yes, thank you sir. Ah, uh, syempre pag for gaming baka ibang scholarship. <laughs> Iba po 'yan, apa. <laughs> Okay. Um, another question po. Uh, this is from our college secretary, uh, si Ma'am Rose po. If DOSC scholarship grantee na po, pwede pa rin po bang mag-apply sa SLAS? Yes po. Uh, po. Pag DOSC scholarship na po, pwede pa rin pong mag-apply sa SLAS. So meaning, you keep your scholarship, no? you keep your stipend and all that, pwede ka pa ding mag-apply for a gadget, no? for an internet subsidy. Okay lang po yun. Ang hindi po pwede, bakit po? Ang hindi po pwede for DOST scholarship because ang, ang monthly stipend po ng mga DOST scholar ay 7,000. Tama po ba? So, you are receiving 7,000 monthly. At ang hindi po pwede sa DOST scholar is to have another scholarship. Tama po? Because if you've added another scholarship, lalagpas po kayo sa 7,000. Eh, ang nasusulat po natin sa, sa BOR, sa UP Code, a scholar will only receive a maximum of 7,000 per month. So yun po, po yung po, po yung current ina na susulat. But we, we don't know. no So we hope na mabago na sa soon no? and we will work on it para mas papataas ang uh, maximum limit of uh, stipend or uh, makukuha ng estudyante per month. Okay, thank you, sir. Do we have more? Okay. So I think we, that's all the questions that we gather from this uh, meeting. And again, uh, maraming maramat, sir, 
Lado for your time dahil alam po namin um, binigyan nyo lang kami ng time ay yung other meeting pa. Ayan. So, uh, do you have any final message po uh, for our uh, students uh, dito po sa CAFS? Okay po. Muli po, from the Office of Scholarship and Grants, we have just been elevated to become a complete, fully independent office. No? And ako po yung uh, uh, first na, na nauna po na umupo na bigyan ng chance na magkaro, maging uh, director po ng scholarships and grants. And uh, we will do no everything in our power to ensure, lalo na po during this current situation, to ensure that all students, no, uh, walk, no matter what walks of life, no, that your your financial constraint is never no a hindrance to attaining UP education. We have we have uh, installed an SA program at pwede pa rin po kayong mag-SA kahit work from home. Ginagawa po namin ng paraan ngayon. Gusto lang po namin na ma-enroll ang mga estudyante. So we would know kung sino po ang pwedeng mag-SA. May mga loans po nung mga nung registration period, may mga loans kung hindi po talaga kaya. Gawan po natin ng paraan basta wag niyo pong itigil ang pag-aaral niyo. May SLES po na hinihanda mula pa po April hanggang ngayon para lamang po magawa ng paraan itong nangyaring kan uh, uh, transition to remote and flexible learning at may mga financial assistance kung kailangan kung hindi po kayo free tuition at kailangan niyo ng additional no, or discounts on your tuition or kailangan niyo ng stipend and allowance so muli po wag po kayong mahihiyang mag uh, mag uh, email sa office in general kung kung question about the office that's OSG Office of the Scholarship and Grants OSG okay, that UPLB at up.edu.ph. No? And we have been blasting email about our directory and about, about our service, services because we believe that students, no, during this time, it's high time na ma, mas mabigyan nyo po ng uh, pansin yung opisina kasi mas kailangan po natin ito ngayon, ngayon lalo na po ngayon panahon ito. So, muli po, Sir Brian. Thank you very much. Ayan. Maraming salamat, Sir. Pero hindi ka po muna namin pakakawalan. Another question pahabol po. Isa again. Okay. From Alder Mendoza, uh, I applied po sa first batch. Pwede pa po ba akong mag-apply sa schedule po ng second batch? Pag-apply na po ako sa first batch, pwede po ba ako mag-appeal sched sa schedule po ng second batch? I, yes po. Apo. So, kung hindi ka nag-online appeal ng first batch, no? so kung tinigil mo na lang, nakita mo na yung result mo, tapos nalimutan mo na mag-appeal, no? Pwede pa rin po pumasok for the application. As long as the portal is open, yes, you can apply for it. And then, kung mag, hindi pa rin po yun yung, yung gusto na, na bracket no, or category, online appeal lang po ng online appeal. No? Pero again, ito po ay mayroong mga ano ha, ito po pala yung, uh, of course, the system wants us to be uh, given given the, the right the material during, during this time. Pero ito po ay nakakaroon ng mga random verification and checks and may clause po kayo doon na kailangan sagutan or itik na you will honestly provide you uh, provide us with proof and evidence that talagang ganito yung condition yung ganito yung case nyo ito ang number of your uh, uh, household materials na ito ang ilan ito talaga ang number ng mga household na nagtatrabaho and all that so of course we we want though we want as much as possible to give you, you know what you deserve as long as you give us also no honesty and, and, and a dignified answers in that in that portal okay po ba and thank you sir and honor and excellence then para sa ating mga nag-aappeal yes po right. so sir muli po mula po sa caps family maraming maraming salamat po sa paglalend niyo ng time and knowledge para uh, masagot po ang mga katanungan ng ating mga estudyante uh, maraming salamat po Thank you, Pastor Brian. Thank you. Uh, muli po, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sa pagsubaybay ng ating online program. Sana ay marami kayong napulot na mga impormasyong gagabay sa atin habang tayo ay nag-aaral dito sa ating new normal. Uh, sa ating pagtatapos, atin pong pakinggan Associate Dean for Instruction, Dr. Adelisa Dorado. Okay. Okay. Hey, um, good afternoon. Um, 
close our short program this afternoon. Well, um, I have a very short message. Well, this ongoing pandemic has brought a lot of changes in our lives. You are now experiencing remote learning, which you may not have imagined of taking. You definitely prefer face-to-face -face interaction with your teacher and of course with your classmates because this gives you a wonderful feeling of camaraderie or of belongingness. There are, however, things that even this pandemic cannot change. One of this is our commitment to continue serving you with the best of what we have, just like how we have served you during the normal times before the pandemic. Amidst all these changes, however, there is one change that we promise to do if you continue to be hardworking students. And this is to change your life for the better. Thank you. And again, welcome back to the CAPS family. Good afternoon. Thank you, Ma'am Adele, for that uh, message. And that ends po yung ating program for this afternoon at sana. Uh, kayo po ay naliwanagan na hindi kayo nag-iisa dito sa laban natin, uh, dito sa pandemic. Okay? Kayo po kasama ng ating buong pamilya sa CAFS, ng buong pamilya natin sa UPLB at UP in general, ay naririto para kayo ay gabayan at tulungan sa, sa ating pag-aaral ngayong semester. Okay? Babalik muna tayo dun sa ating uh, poll kaninang sa simula ng ating program. Ang tanong natin, what plant best describes your week, last week, and why? Okay, so... Ganun pa rin ang resulta. Uh, typo ang A and C, which are A for cactus dahil matinik na week. Uh, dahil sa registration or class requirements. Yan, naging, I know ma, naging mahirap yung ating registration, uh, but sana ay napagtagong yung registration at and don't worry, sa mga requirements, umpisa pa lang yan. Okay? So marami pa tayong kailangan gawin. Uh, but I assure you, I think all the professors uh, are aware dun sa inyong condition. Kaya naman, may magiging uh, considerate sa submissions ng ating mga estudyante at sa kalagayan ng bawat isa because we know na iba't iba yung ating situations. Okay? And then, also, we have letter C, yung water lily, dahil madaming alalahanin, pero di lumulubog. Okay. Ano po ba dito yung hindi lumulubog? Alalahanin o tayo mismo? I guess, uh, tayo yung hindi lulubog at hindi magpapatalo dito sa pandemic na ito. Tuloy ang laban nating lahat. And please, again, we uh, want to say na hindi isa because in CAFs lagi ninyo kaming kasama. Okay? Ayan. So, muli po, uh, maraming salamat sa pag-attend ng ating uh, webinar for this uh, afternoon at sana ay natuto kayo at naliwanagan sa mga programa ng ating universidad para sa inyong lahat. Muli po, maraming salamat at magandang hapon.